Welcome to the Desert Tortoise Classroom. This is just a brief overview of our classroom. We start out by seeing the peace area, moving into the calendar area, then progressing to our classroom library, and then moving into the cultural area zoology and botany, practical life works, sensorial works, reading materials, our work mats, cubbies where you will eventually store your belongings, tables where you may choose to do your work, And then we continue on into sensorial math activities. Additional math works. The bead cabinet. And finally, back around to our snack area and back to where we begin with the peace area. Welcome to the peace area in our classroom. We have things set up so that scholars are given the opportunity to solve any problems or come and reflect on any emotions that they may be experiencing. In our area, we have a mirror so that they can look at themselves and see what emotion they may be feeling. As you can tell, we do have an emotions poster behind with the bench that they are allowed to sit on so that they can reflect. In addition, we also have a timer so that they are not there too long, as well as books that they can look through. It would be wonderful if you had an opportunity and space to be able to set up a peace area where your students and family members can go to problem solve as well. Silent lessons can be a bit tricky. In this lesson, I am modeling the parts of a plant. We begin by taking out all of the cards that identify the parts of a plant. They are not arranged in any particular order. And again, this is a silent lesson. So the children are merely observing what is going on slowly and methodically. Once all of the images of the parts of a plant are out, we then begin with the words that identify each part of the plant. They are carefully placed below each image. Once we have identified the image and the name, we then use the third card to check our work. It is with this system that
that the scholars can easily check their work and identify where any mistakes may have been made. Once this work has been verified, the students would then begin to work on their book. This will be shown in a later lesson. When modeling letter formation and number formation, we begin with washing our hands and using the hand that we would normally write with. We take two fingers and trace around the same paper letter or number saying each time for example in the video six and we pause six pause again six pause once again it is in this fashion that the students memories are created in their muscles and identify with the letter or number they are practicing. When we are demonstrating the first period in a three-part lesson, we begin by identifying using the words, this is. This is North America. This is South America. This is Europe. Please note that as we are identifying each continent, not only are we saying this is, but we are also pointing to the continent as we name it. Part two of the three period lesson uses the language, show me. So in this second part, you would say, show me South America. Show me North America. Show me Europe. The third and final part of the three period lesson uses the language, what is this? What is this? And the scholar should be able to respond, South America. What is this? And the response should be, Europe. And finally, what is this? And the response should be 
North America.